This video is going to be about the Fujifilm X-H1. I've had the X-H1 for about 18 months now, basically quickly closing in on two years. And although I've had this camera for nearly two years, I still think it's worth it today, especially with the price point that is coming in these days. Like the X-H1 is coming in at about 600 to 800, depending on where you get it. You can probably get it for cheaper, but let's just say you grab this six to $800 camera with some affordable Cine Prime lenses from SLR Magic or Seven Artisans or any of the other Cine lens makers out there. And you will have a small cinema kit ranging between 2000 to 2800, depending on the price of the camera and whichever Cine lens set that you go with. And for photography, you can go with a pro setup ranging between 1200 to 4500, depending on the lenses you go with and how many lenses you need, of course. That can quickly go up depending on the lenses you get and how many you get. But with all of that, let's get into the video. So I am a hybrid shooter. I shoot both photography and video and the Fujifilm X-H1 is a phenomenal camera on all fronts. As they say, there is no perfect camera. However, the Fujifilm X-H1 checks the majority of the boxes for me when it comes to how I shoot. I primarily shoot real estate photography. But when it comes to events, I shoot video and I work with a photographer that covers the photography side. And when it comes to covering the event, she chooses the X-H1 over all of my other cameras that I have that I do offer for her to use for the shoots. So for next year's season, I just might grab another X-H1 body with either the SLR Magic or the Seven Artisan Cine Prime set. Let me know which you would recommend or would want to see videos on down in the comments below. And of course, like and subscribe while you're also down there. But Fujifilm does have some new camera offerings at fair prices. However, if you are looking for a quality camera that can produce great photography and video, basically great some great workable files when it comes to video, the price can be beat for this camera, for the X-H1. Now for photography, it really doesn't matter which Fuji camera you pick up these days, you're gonna be pleased with the files they create. But if you are looking for a budget-friendly camera that will give you a little extra when it comes to speed, quality, colors, film simulations, and versatility, then the X-H1 doesn't disappoint. Here are some real estate photos I've taken with the X-H1. The X-H1 is a crop sensor camera, which means you do have to factor in a crop when you're choosing the lenses based on what you shoot. When I was shooting real estate, I was using a 10 to 24 F4, which was a great lens. And you can check out the video that I made on that lens right in the cards. And I also link it down in the description. The X-H1 has a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor with the X-Trans CMOS 3 processor that handles noise just as well as a full frame sensor, in my opinion. Now for videography, the X-H1 takes the cake if you're looking for an easy to use system equipped with a log profile. Now the X-H1 also has a, a Turner profile, which I hardly ever use, but I will be using it soon to learn how to expose and grade that profile. I equate the X-H1's E-Turner profile and log profile to the Sony a7 III with the S-Log2 profile and if it had S Cinetone. When shooting photography with the X-H1, I use the Eterna Profile. I like the muted desaturated look unless I am shooting real estate, then I just stick with the most basic standard picture profile, which I think is the Provia standard. Now, when you are actually shooting, I find that you get the best experience when you are behind the camera, when you are the camera operator. You can vlog with the X-H1, but I find it to be anxiety provoking when in front of the camera because you can't see the screen. But after a while, you kind of get used to not being able to see the screen. It's just tricky when exposing the shot. If I could talk about the X-H1 until I'm blue in the face. So what I would like you to do is like, subscribe, turn on the notification, and to stay up on the content I will be releasing on the X-H1, ranging from video projects to photography for projects and and everything else in between. But you can also check out this video right here to learn more about the X-H1. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and staying awesome. Stay awesome.